so today we are going to learn economic importance of solinisi family so solinisi family is majoritily used as the vegetable family it is also even called as the potato family so let's see the one by one as the food plant so food plant belongs to the solanaceae family are one of the important and very well known is the solanum tuberosum solanum tuberosum which is commonly called as the potato so potato are majoritily used as the vegetable throughout the world and tubers of the potato tubers are nothing but the modified stem and tubers are the common vegetable either it is raw or cook has been used for the food the second one is the solanum melongena so then the melongena is commonly called as brinjal so its fruits a tender fruit are used as the vegetable the next one is the solanum lycopersicon or generally commonly called as a lycopersicon esculentum which is commonly called as tomato so its fruits either ripen or the unripe fruits are used as the delicious vegetables and it is also used as one of the vegetable in a food processing industry the next one is the medicinal plants so plant belongs to the solanaceae family has the medicinal properties or a medicinal values out of which the first one is the atropa belladonna so atropa belladonna are form a powerful alkaloids which is called as atropine and this alkaloid is used for relieving this atropine alkaloid are used for relieving muscular pain the second one uh, the second plants of this solanaceae family is the datura so datura stromonium there are two more species of the datura which is datura metal and datura inoxia out of these three species the datura stromonium is majoritily used to cure the asthma and the woofing cup just because of the presence of the uh, secondary metabolites called as stromonium the third plant is the solanum trilobatum this solanum trilobatum leaves flowers and berries are used to treat the cough the next medicinal plants is the vithania somnifera vithania 
so many flora which is commonly called as ashwagandha as the name indicate it is largely used for the preparation of a tonic its roots and leaves are used for the treatment of nervous disorder then the next third one is the tobacco yes tobacco is a very well and commonly uh, largely known the botanical name is nicotiana tobacco the nicotiana tobacco a contains the alkaloids which is called as a nicotine so this nicotine is considered to be a principal alkaloid in commercial tobaccos such as cigarettes bds pipes and hookahs and even the as well as uh, in a chewing and snuffing other hand it is also a uh, just because it is uh, also used as the insecticides so basically nicotiana is a sedative in nature and on other hand it is also a insecticides and even recently some studies shows that this is also a one of the carcinogenic carcinogenics means which cause the cancer so this component is a nicotine which is principal component in the nicotiana tobacco the next one is the ornamental plants ornamental plants are generally planted to enhance the aesthetic value so out of the um, fuse cestrum diurnum and cestrum nocturnum so these are largely planted in a garden so cestrum diurnum are nothing but the day jasmine while the cestrum nocturnum is the night jasmine the name as because the day jasmine blooms during the day time while the cestrum nocturnum op it opens the flower at the night time that's why it is called as a night jasmine the next one is the petunia hybrida it is a largely used one of the garden plants and it is a known for its a variation in the colors and their beautiful flowers so this petunia hybrida is a largely used in the gardens so these are the economic important of solanaceae family food plants medicinal plants and the ornamental plants